Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 8th of 2024 is titled Globular Star Cluster 47 Tuck. So what do we see here? Well, this is a very prominent star cluster visible in the southern sky and is one of the very brightest as seen from Earth. Now, globular star clusters exist all around our Milky Way and are groupings of stars, maybe a 100,000 stars or so, in kind of a mini galaxy. So they're all bound together and they remain that way. They have enough gravity to be able to hold all of the stars together and keep them from spreading out over time. Now that means that these clusters are some of the oldest things in our galaxy. They date back to the very origin of our galaxy. And there's about 200 of them left now. Now, why only 200 left? Well, they've slowly been incorporated within our Milky Way. So as they orbit around our Milky Way, their orbits sometimes take them in close to the Milky Way. And if they get too close, then they can end up being disrupted and torn apart. And their stars end up being becoming a part of our own Milky Way. And we see various times where this has occurred with globular clusters, or other small dwarf galaxies which orbit our own galaxy. Now, this is a very dense grouping of stars. There are a lot of stars here. And if you look towards the central portions, you can imagine that you have stars within a fraction of a light year of each other. Now think about that where we are, where we're, we are in the galaxy, the nearest star is a little over four light years away. Here you could have many stars, you could have dozens of stars within that same distance, meaning that your night sky would be incredibly bright with stars, there would be a lot of stars around your area and many that are much closer than the stars that we see around us. So it would be a very interesting sight to live in a, a, a live on a planet around a star in one of these globular st clusters, especially closer to the center. Now, as we look further out where we can see the stars individually, we can see large numbers of red giant stars. Globular star clusters are old clusters. That means they don't have any new stars. And the dominant bright stars are going to be old red giant stars. In fact, stars like our own sun that have evolved and become red giants and red supergiants. Normally within our galaxy, we see the most prominent stars being bright blue stars that make up the spiral arms of our galaxy. Those don't exist in a globular cluster because globular clusters do not have the gas and dust to undergo star formation. So they are no longer forming stars and in fact formed all of their stars billions of years ago. So since then they've just been evolving and it's gone down to the point where after 10 billion years, the most the brightest stars left are the evolved stars of types much like our own sun. So studying these globular clusters has given us a better understanding of our galaxy and our position in it by how they are spread around our galaxy. So we can learn a lot more about our galaxy and especially the early parts of early times in our galaxy by studying these globular clusters. So that was our picture of the day for February 8th of 2024. It was titled Globular Star Cluster 47 Tuck. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be when roses aren't red. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.